Greetings from Noldy Forest. So what you're looking at here is a historic sawmill that operated in the 1800s. And we're gonna go over and look at the dam um, that was affiliated with the sawmill. Hey everybody, this is Sarah. Today I'm here with my son and we're at Noldy Forest Environmental Education Center, kind of near Reading, Pennsylvania. Uh, it's about 40 degrees, partly sunny, so we're gonna get out here and see what the trails are like at this um, state park. So I'm always happy when one of my kids wants to go on a hike with me, so my son's with me today. Um, but I've gotta show you the footwear he chose. And his Crocs. We'll see how the Crocs fare compared to the hiking boots here. I don't know, what would you rather hike in? Crocs, very comfortable or hiking boots, keep your feet nice and warm. We'll see how this works out. So you wouldn't know it today from visiting this place because there's beautiful big trees here, but um, the park history says that in the early 1900s, nearly every single tree in this park had been cut down um, by different settlers who were using um, these trees for like making charcoal or the iron industry or farmers clearing land. So the land is bare of trees and in comes Jacob Noldy, a German immigrant he bought this land in 1904, and they said when he purchased it, there was just a single white pine tree growing near the sawmill. So he was inspired by this tree, and he began planting trees, um, and he continued this work. He hired an Austrian forester to plant forest, and we have him to thank for how the land looks today. So the land here was purchased from the Noldy family in 1966 by the Pennsylvania State Park System and they opened the first environmental education center here. So each picnic table here has a little food for thought tip. Allow others a sense of discovery by leaving rocks, plants, feathers, historical artifacts, and other objects of interest as you find them. And just a reminder that removing things from the parks and forests is illegal and that you should use photographs. All very good advice. All right, so we can't go up that way. So we're still on that watershed trail. Really cool when you look around what this place looked like uh, when you were Jacob Noldy when you first came here and what it looks like now. It's pretty impressive that they were able to replant the forest. Sun found some snow. Just The Noldy Forest is one of the um, environmental education centers, and we've got quite a few of them in Pennsylvania. So this is more geared with like short little trails, um, places that maybe you come for a field trip or you take your kids or different educational programs. So it's set up a little differently. So it's showing you all the different birds you can see in the neighborhood here, and then it wants to know which birds that you saw, and you can do the citizen science and report what you've seen today. Close that up. Lots of nice stonework in this park. Um, look at the moss growing on this old stone wall. It's really cool. I don't really want to go off trail here, but I want to give you a look at this. Beautiful moss covered stone wall. So 
the trails are in really good shape. Um, we had some rain last night, but everything's pretty dry. Um, no real muddy spots. So this is working out good for Crocs wearing boy here. <laughs> So what I really like about this watershed trail is as you can hear, you're right beside a little stream the whole time. Um, and there's a lot of bridges that cross you to and from across the stream. And it's really nice. joking, right? Okay. Compared to some of the other trails I've hiked recently in Pennsylvania, there's definitely a lot of color on this trail for being winter. Um, the evergreens, a lot of moss, there's ferns, so it's been really nice. First time here. This was about a 45 minute drive for us to get here, um, but it's really nice. A lot of nice little trails, um, perfect for like family friendly hiking, that type of thing. And you can connect a lot of these little trails to make a big loop depending on how far you want to go. If you want to come and hike here, one thing I want to point out is that the main access point that goes up to, there's like a mansion and an environmental education center, that's only open um, certain hours of the week, Monday through Friday. So if you're coming on a weekend, um, consider parking in an alternative parking lot, like we're in the sawmill parking lot because that main drive was closed and gated. So you can still access all the trails, you just want to come in a different way. All right, so if the sawmill parking lot's full, here's some additional parking locations. So that's handy. And then they also have the passport stamps here, which I need to add to my passport book. So I'll grab one of these. I think we, I think we were up here actually. I think oh. this is where we are. And then we went down here. Oh, you're right. Yep, yep. Because then we walked there and then that's where we cut over probably. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed seeing Noldy Environmental Education Center here in Pennsylvania. Um, we were really impressed. Lots of beautiful little trails, nice hiking, um, everything nicely marked. And my son and I had a really great time today. <laughs>